Okay, this one is the first example about how to close this corner using manual method. So firstly, I'm going to create the curve on surface on this plane. So I'm going to use all G2 uh, connection for both point, and then I do a trim sheet for this plane, and I create a isoparametric curve for this plane and also for this plane. And after this, I do a trim sheet for both blends using that curve. And after this, uh, I need to create two curves on this plane. So I do, a, I create using curve on surface again. I select this point with G2 connection and I change my uh, uh, snap point to point on curve and stepping at this point and then i create another uh, curve on surface on this plane change my point to end point setting this point with c2 connection and i change my uh, snap point to point on curve and selecting at some point at this uh, curve and now i'm ready to trim this plane using these two curves but don't forget to selecting the custom region and after this we are ready to create the surface using a studio surface so i'm going to select these two curves for my first uh, section and this curve for my uh, second section and this one for the first guide and these two curves for the last guide and the rest is just selecting the face to create the g1 connection for all the uh, sections and all the guides okay that is the first example about how to close this corner with manual method and I, after that i have another example that i want to show you so here is the first example and uh, let's move to another uh, case. So yeah, here I have uh, four blends intersecting at, at one corner again. So uh, firstly, I'm going to create the isoparametric curve for these two blends. And for uh, and the next, I do a trim sheet for these two blends using that curve. And for this blend, I'm going to create the curve on surface. With uh, first one, I'm going to select this point with G2 connection, and also I select this point with also G2 connection. And I do a trim sheet for this blend. And after this, I do I create the isoparametric curve and do a trim sheet again and for this uh, guide yeah, I create this guide with point on curve I mean a curve on surface uh, and do a trim sheet again using that curve now we are ready to create the surface using studio surface I'm going to refresh or reset my uh, command and I select this curve for my section, first section and uh, last section, and this one for my first guide, and this curve for my last guide. And again, the rest is just uh, selecting some faces based on the curve to create the G1 connection. So I'm going to select these two uh, faces for my first guide and this face for my last guide uh, G1 connection. So that is the second example about how to close this corner using manual method. Thank you.